right, so let's look at uh, working out um, some percent problems. And we're going to start with the basics with how to convert a fraction to a percent. If you have a fraction and you want to convert it to a percent, the first thing you have to do is divide out your number, numerator divided by denominator. Okay, so once you have your decimal, then you move the decimal two places to the right, which in math is equivalent to multiplying by 100. And once you do that, you got to make sure and add a percent sign. Remember, percent means per 100. Okay, so if we have 7 eighths, which is a fraction, my first step in converting it to a percent is to divide this out. And probably the fastest way to do this is using your calculator. Type in 7 divided by 8, hit enter, and you should get the following. Now at this step, all we've done is we've converted fraction to decimal. I now need to convert my decimal to a percent. And I do that by taking my decimal point and moving it two places to the right. On your calculator, you can just multiply by 100 times 100. Okay, so if I move my decimal place over twice, I have 87.5. If I just leave my answer like that, it's wrong because 0.875 is not the same as 87.5. I need to have the percent sign. Got to have that there. So 0.875 is equal to 87.5%. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with 3 fifths. Okay, long division or use your calculator. You type in 3 divided by 5 into your calculator and you get 0 0.6. Okay, now this is a decimal. I want a percent. So to get a percent, I'm going to take my decimal point and I need to move it two places to the right. Now notice when I move two places to the right, I've got an empty spot and I got to fill it with something and that something still has to indicate there's nothing there. So I'm just going to add a zero. So this is equal to 60 percent. Don't forget your percent symbol. Alright, now when we're going to convert a decimal to a percent, we actually skip the one step where we don't have to divide to put this in our calculator. It's already written as a decimal, so all we have to do is take our decimal point and move it over two places to the right. So 0.5688 is the same as 56.88%. number here, that 13 might throw you off, but nothing changes. The rules are the rules. Take your decimal point, move it two places to the right. So now we have 1367.8%. Okay, so the rules are the rules no matter what your number looks like. So even though this was a number greater than one, you still move your decimal place to, uh, two to the right, you get a bigger number. Again, don't forget your percent signs on these. All right, so let's go backwards. Let's go from a percent to a decimal, okay? Now, the word percent tells you what to do. So when you see 3.2 percent, percent means per 100. So this is equal to 3.2 per cent per 100. So your first step in changing a percent to a decimal is to divide by 100. Okay, now you can either do 3.2 divided by 100 on your calculator and hopefully once you do it a few times you realize that when you divide by 100 you move your decimal place left two places. So my decimal point was here, I'm going to move it left two places Notice I have an empty spot, which we have to fill in with nothing, which in math we know as zero. Okay, so either move your decimal place two points to the left 
And if you forget which way to go, divide by 100 on your calculator and you'll get 0 0.032. Alright, 0.75%. Okay, so again, either look at it as 0.75 divided by 100. And remember that that says take your decimal place and move it two places to the left. Notice we have to add a zero in here. So we're going to have 0.0075. Now in this next problem, we're going to have one little extra step to do, because when we have it written as 3 eighths, there's no decimal place. So you could either type in 3 eighths divided by 100 on your calculator. Okay. Well, if you type in 3 eighths, you get 0 0.375. And when you divide that by 100, move your decimal place 2 to the left, we get 0 0.00375. Alright, so let's solve some equations, some word problems here that have percents. And one of the things we have to remember on these is that is is an equal sign and of is times. Okay? So where you see this is, that's equals. So that's going from English to math. That of translates as a multiplication. Okay? Well, the numbers stay, so that's $150, which I'll write as 150. 6.5%, well, since I'm going to be doing some math here, I need to write that as a decimal, and we just went over that. Take your decimal place and move it two places to the left, and we get 0 0.065. And now, the word over here is what? Well, this is what we're looking for, right? What is this? Well, whenever we don't know what something is, we call it x. And notice to solve this equation, all I need to do is to multiply these two numbers. I'll use my calculator for that, and I find that it is 9.75, okay? And that means that 9.75 is 6.5% of $150. All right, so let's work on this one, okay? First, I'm going to do my translations. Of becomes multiplication, is is equals. There's a 75 here, there's a 15 here. Notice here, what percent? This is what we're looking for. We don't know what it is. I'm going to call it x. Okay, so now I have to remember how to solve this equation. Well, we have x times 75. I want x by himself. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 75. So x is... 15 divided by 75. Now I can't leave my answer like that because they're asking for what percent. So the first thing I'm going to do is 15 divided by 75 on my calculator and I find that that's 0.2 but that's a decimal and I want a percent. So to go from decimal to percent move my decimal place 2 to the right 20%. Alright, here's our next one here. Again, my of is times, my is is equals. I've got a number, so put that there. In here, what number? That's x. That's the what part. And even though this is in words, it's saying 10%. Well, that's 10%, which we know is in decimal 0 0.10, right? So we have 0 0.10 times x, divide both sides by 0 0.10. So 75 divided by 0 0.10 is 750. And notice we were just asking for what number, the number is 750. 
the last problem asked for the percent, so I did have to change my answer to a percent.